the long-awaited announcement now official. We showed that we can and must revitalize America. But the DeSantis presidential rollout on Twitter hit hurdles. Just a massive number of people online, so it's... Um, Servers are straining somewhat. Billionaire CEO Elon Musk blaming the large audience for the hiccup, saying 600,000 people were listening for nearly half an hour before DeSantis made a bold promise. If you nominate me, you can set your clock to January 20th, 2025 at high noon, because on the west side of the U.S. Capitol, I will be taking the oath of office as the 47th president of the United States. No excuses. I will get the job done. Florida Democrats slamming the governor as bad for America. It's our job in Florida as Floridians to continue to expose Ron for being a cruel and dangerous ideologue. Uh, I mean, you'd really have to look far and wide to find a more deplorable and damaging public figure. Widely seen as Donald Trump's top rival for the nomination, Trump calling DeSantis, who he once endorsed for governor, disloyal and saying he needs a personality transplant. President Biden's team poking fun at the Twitter trouble, tweeting a link to donate during the debacle with a caption, this link works. The announcement from DeSantis comes in an untraditional way. That might be one of the messages that come out of this failure to launch is, is Ron DeSantis effective? Is he a ready leader and can he take america into the future as the governor tries to become the first person in florida history to win the white house i'm ron DeSantis, and i'm running for president to lead our great american comeback a bevy of new ads out tonight but former president trump out with a new one himself casting DeSantis as a trump imposter jack royer eight on your side